Hey guys, Jeff here from Don't Do It Yourself, and today we're going to review Thinkific. We'll take a look at the pros, the cons, and we'll take a look under the hood and see just how easy it is to set up your own online course. Let's get started. First, I'm going to show you just how fast and easy it is to set up a course. So when you log into Thinkific, you just create the new course button, choose a template, and we're going to try creating a course on poker. And we're going to quickly build our curriculum, and I'll speed us through this. You create a chapter, save that, and we're going to do two chapters here. And then let's add a lesson within this first chapter. Now, lessons can be any type of content or media. You can do video, you can do text, surveys, upload files. I'm just going to create a simple text lesson and we'll just make it one sentence long. You can format this by changing the color, the font. You can add images or files. Let's just add a picture of dogs playing poker. And obviously in a real lesson, we'd have a lot more written content in a video, but I'm just gonna save this example. Let's add a second text lesson. We'll save that. Now we just finished our first chapter. Now let's do something different for our second chapter here. After we create a text lesson, we're going to create a quiz. So in our quiz, we'll create two questions. And we'll choose two answers for this question. This is not the correct answer, so I uncheck that. This is the correct answer, so I check that. And then let's add another question. We'll enter our answers. This time we'll make the first one the correct one. And then we'll save our quiz. And now that we have our quiz completed, let's uncheck draft to publish it. And then let's preview what this course looks like from a student perspective. So the first thing that you'll see on the left is the curriculum that we created. And when a student logs in, they immediately jump into the first lesson. You can see our very short lesson here. If this were a video, they'd watch that first. And once they're done, they click complete continue and they automatically progress to the second lesson over here. Their progress bar indicates how far they are in the course. So we'll click, a, we'll go through our, our lessons here. Now we're on the second chapter and let's see how this quiz looks. How many suits in the deck? We'll choose four. That's the correct answer. How many cards in the deck? Let's choose the wrong answer. And you can see it can give you real-time feedback as to what are the correct answers to help students learn. And it gives you a percentage completion. And one of the nice things about Thinkific is you can actually create a certificate so that if a student completes a certain threshold of correct answers that you've set, that you can have them access a certificate and you can even have that automatically emailed to them. You can set up the email template any way you want and lay out the course certificate however you want it to look. Now let's look at the pros and cons of Thinkific. One thing we really love is that it's the only course platform with a truly free option and no transaction fees. Some other providers have free options, but they'll take a percentage of your course sales for every transaction. Thinkific also has phone support, which no other providers offer. And the platform is very intuitive and allows you to customize every aspect of your course and your landing page. There's also a lot of flexible payment options for students. For example, you could let your students pay for a high dollar value course in installments. And it's also easy to set up monthly recurring subscriptions where you can collect money over time. And it plugs right into Stripe or PayPal to go right into your bank account. Now, there are a few cons we found with Thinkific, but all of these are easily overcome. The first is that there's no course marketplace. So what I mean by this is some providers and very few like Udemy actually have a marketplace where you can list your course and 
people can discover it by searching through their catalog. But the downside is Udemy has very low dollar amount caps on how much you can charge for your course. Thinkific has no caps and you can charge whatever value you think is right. There's no integrated email marketing with Thinkific. So some platforms do have email tied in directly into their platform, but I actually don't like using those. I'd rather use a third party service like MailChimp or AWeber and Thinkific easily connects to those types of services. There's also no integrated sales funnel builder, but I find you don't really need this for a lot of courses. And if you want it, you can easily connect a third party application like lead pages or click funnels. But out of the box, Thinkific is great. You can just list a course on your own web page or on a Thinkific hosted page. Now there is no chat support on Thinkific, but there's email support, and as I mentioned, there's phone support as well. And they really want to help you succeed because they want you to be a customer long term. Overall, we love Thinkific. And if you want to see a more detailed review, just look below this video for a link. You'll also see we've reviewed a number of other course providers. But really, Thinkific offers a great value and a great free service. And it's worth just simply setting up an account to play around and see if you are ready to create a course. Good luck.